Sim Zima, who got the keys to my bimmer? Who am I? The man them sugar. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Because the government is reducing taxes on European cars. But what's the catch? I'm Khalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. So when I first heard this story, I was like, nah, this sounds too good to be true. The government is really going to get rid of a major tax on luxury vehicles? But we checked it out and it actually is true, though there are a few catches. So watch this video to the end to find out, you know, what's the catch. You can now import European vehicles to Jamaica duty-free. And this has actually been in effect since January. Now, this is massive news because many European cars are luxury brands. I'm talking BMW, Mercedes-Benz, your Audi, your Land Rover, Lamborghini, and Ferrari. Now, you might be wondering why. Like, of all cars to cut taxes on, they choose the luxury models. The politicians just gave themselves a big raise. Now they want to save money on their Benz, too. <laughs> All right, but here's what actually happened. Jamaica is part of the CARIFORUM European Union Economic Partnership Agreement. This is a deal between the EU and the 14 Caribbean countries, including Jamaica. The agreement is supposed to help foster trade and investments between the regions. Now, you may hear me switch between the terms customs tax, import tax, and duty, but don't worry, they all mean the same thing. This is the tax on goods imported from outside Jamaica. If you've ever bought anything overseas or online and had it shipped to Jamaica, then you know import duty is a major cost. But as part of the CARIFORUM EU agreement, some European products, including motor vehicles, are exempt from customs tax. In exchange, we also get to send some of our products duty-free to the EU. And this makes our products cheaper and more competitive in their market. The EU has 27 member countries, so being able to export products duty-free to those countries is a big win for developing countries like us. Now, the deal, which was signed in 2008, allowed member states to remove the customs tax over phases over 15 to 20 years, which is what the government of Jamaica did. Since signing in 2008, the import duty on European cars has gradually come down from 40% to 30 to 20 to 10 in 2022. And starting January this year, it's now at zero. But here's the catch. And you knew there had to be a catch, right? Well, to qualify for the duty exemption, the vehicle must have an engine size of at least 2,000 cc. So think BMW X4 or X5 or an Audi A3 or A4. And the vehicle must come from an EU member state. The EU has 27 members, including France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and Portugal. And as you know, many luxury cars come from EU member states. So the duty-free exemption would not apply if you bought a Honda from a seller in Spain because Honda is a Japanese brand. The vehicle has to come directly from an EU member state or the United Kingdom. If it has to stop over in another country before getting here, it has to stay under customs control in that country. So the exemption wouldn't apply if you bought an Audi from a seller in America. And to be clear, the EU agreement only removes the import tax. You still have to pay GCT and SCT, that special consumption tax, on the vehicle. So I know you're probably thinking, well, does this mean that now a luxury European vehicle would cost less than an American or Japanese car? Well, let's compare BMW, a luxury brand from Germany, and Lexus, a luxury brand from Japan. Lexus is owned by Toyota. A new BMW X4 starts around 54,000 USD or 8.2 million JMD. Then you have to factor in GCT, which is 20%. That's an extra 10,800 US. SCT is 15%. That's an extra 8,100 US. Altogether, the car would run you about 80,000 US or about 11.2 million JMD plus your shipment costs. On the other hand, a Lexus IS300, which has a similar engine capacity as the X4, starts around 41,000 US or 6.3 million GMD. 
but now we have to add the 20% import tax, 8200 plus 20% GCT, 8200, 15% SCT. Altogether, that's 63,000 USD or 9.7 million JMD. So the Lexus still works out cheaper than the BIMA. And keep in mind that there are upgrades that you can make to either car that could affect the price. So this is just a rough example of what it would cost. And of course, that's if you're importing the car yourself. All right, what do you think? Are we about to see more luxury cars on the road now? Let me know in the comments. Click the link in my bio and tap newsletter to receive money news like this straight to your inbox. Let's get this money.